This is a quick video of PCBSD 9 Beta 2 booting on an i7 box. Uh, lots of beefy hardware. Uh, so let's go ahead and fire it up. And we should see the post screen shortly. There we go. And if you saw it, 3.2 gigahertz, 12 gigs of RAM. And if I wanted to make this a little faster, I'd skip the CD boot. But then the bootloader checks every drive for something, and it's probably related to this being a beta. It's probably some diagnostics thing. But it takes quite a while. Um, so we'll go ahead and wait on that. This is uh, actually the most time-consuming part of the boot. Uh, the drives are configured for HCI and they're 10,000 RPM Velociraptors, so shouldn't be anything related to the drive. But there you can see the last one is being checked and will be booting shortly. There we go. Just finished. And we're going to get what I like to refer to as the unholy spew shortly. First it's got to load all the stuff off of slash boot which are mostly kernel extensions and slash boot is all on the first drive but once you see this screen it's mounted it or shortly after it'll mount the ZFS uh, RAID Z volume which is all four drives and there it goes so now it's for real loading and this is the unholy spew it kinda looks like it's enumerating everything Um, but looking at the system, it doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot of work while it's doing that. It just looks kind of like it's waiting on the frame buffer, which is kind of funny. Uh, you can turn on a splash screen, which I did after shooting this video. And there we go, we're at KDE. Go ahead and log in. My credential entry is on monitor 2 for some reason. Uh, that's KDE. I can fix that. Then KDE loads. Which is also KDE and a little slow. But there you have it about three and a half minutes to boot up but uh... got a running box both monitors supported, sound works the webcam doesn't at least not in Skype but I think it works in other things but uh... yeah working operating system Got a little bit of tweaks done, changed my terminal all around, switched it to bash because I don't know CSH and I don't really care. Also, I use RVM. And you can see RVM's working. I've got Firefox. I've got decent fonts in the terminal. I've got uh, GFM configured with most of Carl Huda's Janus or Yanis, or however you want to pronounce it. So, perfectly usable as a dev box, and I will probably at least try to use it for that. Um,
but to turn on the splash screen you open PCBSD control enter your root password correctly go to the miscellaneous tab click show splash screen and if you want you can have your own customized splash screen for your box booting up and I'm gonna test it but you don't have to watch because I'm gonna stop recording <laughs>